Hello everybody, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch. Today we're looking at Super Tile to Unity. Not only does it have the coolest logo you've ever seen, but it's also incredibly easy to use. Now if you were here uh, yesterday, I believe it was, or the day before, uh, I announced Tile 1.2 was just released. Now if you've never heard of it, Tile is an open source 2D map editor. It's been around forever, has comprehensive support for just about everything you'd want to do creating a 2D game. You can create 2D games out of tile maps, out of normal objects, you can create hexagonal maps, you can create isometric maps. Basically, if you need to create a 2D map in some form, Tile might be the tool for you. It's open source under the GPL licensed. Again, as I mentioned, the 1.2 release was just announced. And along with that, or secondary to that, there was a product called Super Tile to Unity. What we're looking at today, back earlier in September, uh, it was released as well. It is available for free or a name your price on itch.io. I'll toss this link down below, of course, and that's today what we're going to look at. This is a way of bringing tiled maps into Unity. And the fact is, it uses the scripted importer support inside of Unity, and that means it's all native to Unity, and it works on every Unity supported platform. And you're going to see in a second, it is pretty much seamless. So I've started up a Unity project. This is a straight 2D template project, nothing special done. Um, I've just basically Basically created it and loaded it and that's it. I'm going to show you how to install this package and then actually use it. Both things are incredibly simple. Now, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and add that package in. So go to assets and go to import package custom package. Now of course I assume you've downloaded this package at this point in time. Uh, go over to wherever it was saved. So here's super tile to unity 1.0.0 unity package and I'll open that guy up. And yep I want to go ahead and import all of the pieces of it. Do, 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 do. We'll give this a second. And uh, almost done. Almost done. Do, 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 do. This stuff always takes a little bit longer than you actually expect it to do. But, okay, we're done. So Super Tile to Unity is now installed in your computer. You're now ready to import Unity maps. Now, there are multiple pieces to, sorry, uh, tiled maps. There are often multiple pieces to a tiled map. Depends on how you export You can export it kind of as an all-in-one file, or you can export it as a TMX, a TSX, and then the image file behind it. And that's what I'm going to show today because that's kind of the most convoluted way of going things. So now go back to assets now that that's installed. And you just go ahead and go import new asset. And now we want to go ahead and find the asset. So I'm going to grab the examples out of the tiled folder. So tiled is installed in x86 on Windows, I believe. Yep, program filed x86, go into tiled. And what we want to bring in is that guy right there. Now you can actually multi-click, but I'll show you just the one right now. So I'm going to grab the TMX file and we'll import that in. Now you're going to see immediately up here, it's going to say, oh, we're missing something. We're missing the T. I thought I brought in the TMX set. Okay, so missing assets in this. So now what we need to go is back here and go um, import assets again, and then we'll grab the TSX, and then assets, import, and then it's gonna say missing TMX desert spacing PNG. So this is just getting all of the files that we actually needed. Uh, that should be all of them, and then boom, it is happy. And what it just did is it brought in that map as a prefab. You can see it right down here, ready to use. And um, pretty straightforward, it creates a Sprite 2D. Um, we can go ahead and drop that into our world, like so. And ta-da, you have a tiled map in your world, exported from tiled, imported into, uh, into Unity. So Super Tiled Unity is kind of one of those cool tools that it just works. It does exactly what you want it to do and not much more. Now, if we head on back over to their webpage, uh, there's not a whole lot going on. Um, the documentation is pretty much non-existent at this point in time, but you don't really need a lot. As you saw, I probably just went through one of the most complicated importing scenarios where there are multiple files, and it's really just kind of keep importing stuff until it works. It's not really that difficult. And then ultimately, the source code is up on um, this GitHub page. I'll toss this link down below along with the download link I just showed you. Uh, and you can see that it is released under the MIT license. And once again, if you watch this channel for any period of time, you know I love MIT license. The MIT license in summary basically says do what you want, how you want, if you want, when you want, charge what you want. Basically, however you want to use this product, go ahead and use it that way. Just don't sue us. And it's kind of like it. They've, they've absolved themselves of all responsibility for what happens. So if somehow this tiled importer blows your computer up, eh, not their problem. I love this license. MIT license is probably about as liberal as they get while at the same time protecting the developer that released the product. So 
Once again, that is super tile to Unity. Not only the product with one of the coolest logos I've ever seen, but also just kind of works flawlessly. So if you want to bring a tiled map into Unity, this is a great tool for you. Now you're going to find that this product is getting a little bit less useful as time goes on. Not because it isn't great, not because tiled isn't great, but because Unity is getting progressively better 2D mapping support. This is one of those things they seem to be focusing on the last couple of releases. So as time goes on, you're probably going to have less and less need to bring in a tiled map to Unity, but for now, Tiled has more functionality than Unity enables. So if you're wondering why would I use Tiled for my tile mapping, well, that is probably the biggest reason. In time, that probably will go away. And I'd be curious to hear from you. Are you using the new Tiled map functionality in Unity? Is it good enough or is there functionality missing? If not, hopefully this tool was useful to some of you, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.